Hello and welcome to my kitchen. So today I have a very special treat in the store for you and I'm really excited about it. So before we get started, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing so that I can continue to show you more witchy things in the future. And I would like to mention my amazing witch hat. If you like it, I will link down below because I did purchase it from a friend on their Etsy shop. But to get into the video. We'll go ahead and grab a drink because I will be showing you how to make something very special today. And I'm actually super, super excited about it. I know I overused the word super, <laughs> but we all know the candle hanger holder, the witch one from, I'm not going to say any names, but we all know who they're from. And they did a very, very, very poor job at stocking that. And it sold out within a matter of seconds, matter of minutes, in fact, on their website. And they have no plans whatsoever for restock. And that made a lot of people, including myself, very upset and disappointed. So today we are going to be creating our own candle holder. And you're going to do it super easily because I don't have time for sculpting. I'm sure you guys don't have time for sculpting. So we are going to use one of these gestures. I have seen these around in craft stores. I got mine from Joann's and then I used one of their coupons for it to make it a little bit cheaper. Um, but you can also find it at Michael's and whatever your local craft store is, I would definitely take a look. So that will be the main subject. And then we also need a gold and black paint or really paint of your choice or anything else that you may want to add to the hand. So if this sounds like a lot of fun with you, then go ahead and keep watching. We're going to get to the rest of the video. And again, don't forget to hit a big thumbs up because it supports me here on, here on the channel and subscribing because I would love to see this community grow and I can't wait to share more activities with you guys. Okay. Well, first, before we get started, I can do any crafts in my lovely velvet dress because I don't want to ruin it. So let's go teach. Oops. What am I doing? I have magic. All better. Now that is a speedy change. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to show you guys down to my table. Let me just go ahead and move you. Boopity boop boop boop. And if you like this shirt, I will go ahead and link that down below. Also from a fellow artist because I am all about supporting small businesses. And if you have a small business and you would like me to support it, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll take a look. So we have our gestures box here. Um, I've never used one of these before, so we are going to see, we're going to see how this goes. We have instructions. And there's our stuff. So I believe you can just mix it straight into this bowl that they provide for you. It's a two star perfect cast. Okay, so you have the empty bowl and then one has the perfect mold on it and then the other one has the perfect cast in it. I got some scissors. Don't mind my pajama bottoms because that is how we do life. So the first thing that we need to do is mix together the perfect mold. Four conduits and small bag with lettering to large mold. idea where the whisk would be so we're gonna use a fork okay first step is you need to in your bowl get together eight cups of water this one only holds four so I will need to do two of these I'm going to be honest, this is very close to the top and I am not sure it's all going to fit. 
That wants you to take your perfect mold, the blue bag, and it wants you to put it in here while whisking. This is about as useful as trying to pat your head and rub your stomach. <laughs> There's a lot of dust. Okay, and once you get it in there completely, you're supposed to whisk vigorously for 90 seconds. When they say large bowl, they really mean it. I'm glad I switched it because that was not gonna work with the other one. Okay, and your mixture is gonna start looking like this. Now it says to bang the bucket for 20 seconds to release any air bubbles that may be trapped in the mixture. Okay, 20 seconds. Sorry, one of my fingernails fell off. Or fingernail polish. I don't have fingernails. Okay. Now, form the gesture with your hand and slowly enter into the bucket. And I probably also need to grow a couple inches to do this. Oh, so we're gonna stand on a stool. Like my pajama shorts. And I want to do that hand. So we're gonna position it kind of like that. <laughs> Hopefully get it in there. Yeah. Okay, and it says not to touch the edge of the buckets. <laughs> this feels super weird. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I just hope that my hand is in a good position. Oh man. And then I'm going to try and cover it over the top here. This is either going to work or it's going to be a complete flop. Okay, so we're going to set our timer for two minutes. Okay, perfect. So that was two minutes. Now it says gently rock your wrist back and forth and slowly wiggle your hands and fingers. You will hear a suction sound. 
Ugh. Gross. All right, and then you have something that looks like that. I'm gonna wash my hands. Cool. So now we get to mix to step two. We will need our mixing bowl again. So it instructs any extra stuff like this, do not throw this down your drain. Make sure that you throw it in the trash can. Okay, now that we have our bowl again, this is a lot less water, so I can use the smaller bowl. And then I also need, there is our whisk again. We need nine ounces of cool water. So, mix that in there. I guess we'll start our timer again for two minutes. And get on with skin. Okay, that's been two minutes. Put the whisk over here. Try not to drip on the counter. Now it wants you to bang it again. Now you're going to pour it into your cast, but you're only going to go halfway. Do it this way. Set that on my paper. Okay, and then you're gonna bang this and rock and rotate to release any air bubbles. Okay, and then you fill it the rest of the way. all of it, I guess. Okay, and it says gently tap the container to release any more air bubbles. Move you back up here. So we're going to dump the rest of this into a bag and then we're just going to toss it. Um, again, don't put it in your drains. And then it has to sit in this container for one hour. So I'm going to come back in one hour and we're going to see what it looks like. I hope it worked. Fingers crossed. Okay, so welcome back. It's been a little bit over an hour. Um, but I think it's pretty solid. This is what we have here. There's some that spilled over into the side and that is a little bit liquidy. So we're gonna drain it out. And here is my bag that I had all of my stuff in. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move you down so you can see. And it just slides out like this. And then you carefully, gross. This feels disgusting. Okay, you gotta carefully peel away. Let me get a This reminds me of like skin on one of those horror movie dummies or something like that. It's just has a very similar texture. Oh, that's kind of freaky. There's my knuckles. Okay, and you just peel it off. Unfortunately, this these are for one-time use only. So this is all we're gonna get out of here. Um, it did crack a little bit right here, but I was gonna see if I can sand that down or sand it off. Ew. <laughs> 
It's so gross. Okay, but I don't see anything else, so I wasn't touching the walls. Oh, there's the rest of it. It kind of freaks me out, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely holding on. <laughs> oh man. like the freakiest thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really lifelike. Uh, it stinks. It smells pretty weird. There it is. My hand. And then there was a crack right here. So a bit of it spilled out. I was hoping I could break or sand it off. But I'm not sure. I might have to sand it. There are some rough edges or cracks around the nails and the fingers. I think that is because of when I was trying to pull it out, it was kind of cracking and moving because it was such a weird position. Um, let's go ahead and dry it off. You can see my fingernails. I grew them out to be long, so that it would be long like the candle holder. So you can paint those, you can paint it in pretty much any way that you want to, but yeah, it's definitely gonna take some sanding flatter, but that was hard to do in the tub because it was so narrow. So like if I put my hand in here, you can't touch the edges, so I couldn't really get it flatter. So I think if you're gonna do this yourself, get it a different tub so that you can do it like wide but it's still pretty cool does not stand up it's top heavy that's disappointing a candle will fit in here I'm trying to think of where i would have one okay so there are two candle types here we've got a single wick not mad about it. It's not super sturdy though. I think it needs help. So I think this would have worked really well if I had a larger bucket but my hand is just not wide enough for the candle to go in here, so yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll try it again. Also, I noticed that the thumb fingernail broke off. I also think another issue that I had was it took me too long to get my hand in the mold before it started setting, and so I wasn't able to properly cover the top part of my hand right here. But yeah. Still really cool though. So this was my first try. I might attempt to do it again, just because a few of the pieces broke off. 
Um, it's not stable. It's very heavy on this side. And so it can't stand up. It keeps tipping over this way. And the bucket that it comes with is very narrow. And so I wasn't able to get my hand out like this to where it would actually have room for a candle. So this one, you could put a candle in here. Maybe if you do just those wax candles and let the wax melt down, I think that would work though too. Um, but yeah, and then this part was because the mold um, cracked and broke when I tried to pull my hand out of it. And so some of the casting um, fell down in there. So not a lot that I can do there. Some of it is breaking off, but not a whole lot. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's still really cool. Like it's, it's trippy to look at because I'm very familiar with my hands and yeah, it's very, very lifelike. Okay. Well, we're switching over to vlog style, I guess. Um, I put it over on my altar because it's having a hard time standing up by itself, but I'm sure if you mounted it or something, you, it would work just fine. Um, this is the first time I have ever done one of these hand molds before. I may take a crack at it again and just use a different container because the one that it came with was way too narrow for me to get my hand out and flat so that a candle can actually be held in it. So it is a little bit narrow, but I am still able to fit candles into it. So I will go ahead and show a video clip here of what that looks like and where I decided to put it. And you can also paint it as well, but I really like the white. You can't tell. I'm <laughs> just kidding. If I, I just really like the white for right now, I may paint it black later on or add some gold embellishments on it, or you can paint it exactly like the original. It is completely up to you. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching today. It has been a lot of fun and man, was that a journey. And I cannot wait until next time. So I will see you guys next week. Uh, hit that like button and please consider subscribing because I would love to see you join our community. Bye. We are again. We are going to retry and see if we can get this to work better than last time. So it comes with these plastic containers, but my problem last time was that this was not wide enough. So I wasn't able to get the hand out enough and it was in too much. So you can't actually put a candle in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it in this bowl and then set my hand in this one. Um, and see how that goes rather than the plastic because when this one was done i was able to just slip it out like it came out fairly easily so i'm hoping the same thing will happen with this so i have my timer set to two minutes wide open hand I want my palm to be flat as I can get it. I'm going to set our hand in here. That's way more liquidy this time too. I think another issue that I had last time, um, it's not going to work. It's not going all the way up on my hand was that it took me too long to, um, get it in here. Okay. I guess I'll go ahead and stick this in here because it's not going far enough up on my hand. See, it's only covering the little bit. I feel like it might need to be stirred more. Very carefully. There we go. Looks a lot more wide to me, but we'll find out. So my plan in here didn't work because it would only go to my wrist. I needed more of my arm. So, because it was wider, it wasn't tall enough. So, only work out that way. So next we have to make Wow, 
I made a bigger mess than last time. Okay, well now that's in there. Uh, make sure not to put this down your drain and throw it in a container that you can throw away, which I'm probably just going to slide it in here. And then it has to sit for one hour. So I'm going to come back in an hour and see if the second attempt was any better. All right, let's see if we can get this out of here. I have the bag again. So it looks like you can see mold right there. And then this stuff we need to peel off. So we're just going to flip it over. Comes right out. And I found that last time it was a lot easier when I cut it open. I'm not sure what happened to the fingers, but they're super flat and weird. All the fingernails broke off. The thumb is weird. It's very skinny. Um, it's a little more flat, so you could probably stick a candle in there now. Okay, so it still won't stand up. I'm still having that issue. My last one wouldn't stand up either, and I think it's just because the hands are too big or too heavy for the wrist. So we'll just set it down. And you can, this one fits candles a little bit better. You can put this candle like that. It's a tea light. Or I've got this guy. So definitely holds the candles better now. Has a better shape to it. Um, but it's not, not quite standing up. So I think overall my first try was way, way nicer. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the mold on this one with all the fingernails and especially the fingers because they're really flat and weird looking. But you could always glue fake fingernails on that and then paint them and then paint it however you like and then decide how, uh, how you would like your hand. I did not make this for it to be an exact replica. I just wanted to make my own version of a hand candle holder. So we have two options now and yeah. Not too bad. Um, the kits are $19.99 at Joann's and then you can use one of their coupons for it. So there it is. Thanks so much for watching.